Hi and welcome back to another Tech Minds video. So in this video we're going to be take a look at how you can connect up an SDR receiver and use it as a pan adapter with virtually any radio that you own. So as you can see here this is my FT991. Now the 991 does have a scope but it's not real time. This means that I have to press the sweep button if I want to have a quick scan to see what's active on the band. So if I press sweep now you'll see that it will sweep once and it will show you some peaks. I can press sweep again and I can continue keep pressing it until I get bored. Now if I turn up the volume so we have a station here at the moment now while I, when I press sweep you can hear that it mutes if I hold my finger on sweep you can see that the peaks are moving and you can see the different transmissions here and we could tune to them but because the 991 only has one receiver it means that you can't actually listen to it while it's doing this scanning so rather than purchasing the 991A or another radio so I went ahead and purchased an MFJ 1708 SDR box now you may wonder what that is but uh, let's let's have a look so this is the box itself um, they're about a hundred dollars something like that roughly uh, I purchased mine from Moonwaker here in the UK I'll leave a link down in the description if uh, if you're interested in getting one of these so let's just have a look to see what we've got so we've got three antenna inputs these are SO239 connections if I just take this one off here you can see so there's three of these SO239 connections just pop that back in uh, and they're labelled uh, radio, antenna and SDR. So this coax here, this uh, the one that goes off to the antenna, that goes off to my main HF antenna, which at the moment it's a N-fed half wave. We then have a connection here called SDR. This cable goes off to my RSP duo. And then we've got a connection here that says radio, and this goes off to the, the HF port on the back of my FT991. Uh, we also need to power it, so I've got some 12 volts going in, which is actually being powered from the same power supplies that's powering my FT991. And we also have a PTT phono connection and a delay variable pot here. I'll explain what those are in a moment. So uh, let's have a look at the SDR. So the SDR cable goes off and it plugs into here. So this cable here, this is coming from the SDR connection on the MFJ box. Uh, and then as I said before, we've got the radio connection. So the MFJ1708 SDR has RF sensing, which means when I transmit on the FT991 or any radio that's connected to this box, it will actually ground the center pin of the SDR. What that does, it provides some protection to your SDR receiver while you're transmitting. So if you imagine what we have here, we have the antenna in receive mode, the center pin is going to the STR and to the radio at the same time. And as soon as I press transmit, it grounds this and just allows the output, the RF to transmit from the radio through to the antenna. Now, because I'm using this on HF and it's mainly sideband and the peak of the RF is gonna be going up and down as I'm talking, we do need a, a kind of delay to keep the, the transmit line open uh, or hanging while I'm talking uh, you can adjust the delay here there's also a PTT ground um, which you can connect this directly to the back of your radio and assuming that your radio has it when you press the old PTT button on your radio there'll be a certain connection on the back of your radio which will go to ground and this will control it rather than using the RF sensing now like I showed you before I'm using the RSP duo from SDR play now if we go over and have a look at have a look at the computer Okay, so what you're gonna see here is the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. This is just a, a camera shot of uh, the front of the ASU FT991. Uh, and just behind it, you can see I'm using SDR Uno. And as I'm changing the frequency on SDR Uno, you can see that it also changes the frequency on the radio. Now that's because uh, I'm using a program called OmniRig, which is kind of like a little application that you install. Uh, you configure it to connect to your radio and then 
you configure your uh, SDR software, in this case SDR Uno to talk to OmniRig. So it tells OmniRig to change frequency and OmniRig will then tell the radio to change frequency. So essentially what's happening here is the MFJ1708 SDR is splitting the antenna's reception to the radio and to the SDR software. Now what this gives us is uh, quite a wide spectrum to look at in real time and as you can see at the moment I'm on the 80 meter band and if I want to uh, change frequency if I see a, a peak or something that's, uh, that looks interesting I just have to go and click on it and uh, that it will change, change the radio. It also controls mode as well so if you want to swap between FM, AM, upper sideband, lower sideband you can control the uh, radio directly from SDR Uno or whichever SDR software that you're using. So there you go, this is quite an inexpensive way of getting a really cool looking uh, pan adapter uh, for your radio. I think the uh, S I think SDR Uno has got to be one of the best looking SDR receiving software uh, packages that's out there today. It, uh, it looks professional and it has everything that you need uh, as well. Uh, you can listen to the audio via SDR Uno if you want or your SDR software but what I tend to do is mute the audio on SDR Uno and I'll just listen to the audio coming out of the radio. Uh, the radio has some extra features uh, for noise uh, processing uh, which, I, which I think is pretty cool um, especially DNR on the um, on the SOFT991. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you've got any questions, uh, leave them down in the comments section below and I'll try and answer them the best I can. And don't forget, you can check out my Patreon page and you can also follow me on Twitter. I'll leave the links for both of those down in the description below. Okay, until the next video, take care and hope you have a great rest of the day.